to Shuttered Lalande's Advent Calendar Vlogs, where every day of December we'll be showing you how we prepare for Christmas here at the Chateau. Yep, we've got loads of tricks and tips for you, and if you don't want to miss a thing, hit subscribe, click the notification button, and you'll not miss anything. Here's today's video. Hello, Merry Christmas. Today we have decided to make some Christmas canapes because we have a lot of parties through December at La Lande and we constantly need to have little nibbles for guests. Yep, and everyone loves a Christmas dinner, so why not have more than one? And today we're gonna to be making three Christmas canapes. So it's a whole Christmas dinner condensed into canapé form. Yes, so when your guests have come around to your cocktail party, they will leave feeling they've had the whole Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. That's so the plan. We haven't made these before, we've just invented them this morning. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine. They'll be great. So the first canapé, is going to be a Christmas dinner. Yes, yeah, so I'm working on the meat part of it, which is going to be a mini Yorkshire pudding filled with turkey and gravy and some sausage meat stuffing. Mm -hmm. And my one is going to be sage and onion stuffing sausage rolls. So it's going to be a vegetarian sausage roll with all the things that you have in a sage and onion stuffing, but with a few extra surprises. A little luxurious additions. Just a few luxurious additions, yeah. And then we have a verine, which is going to be the vegetable portion of the meal. So that's going to have potatoes and parsnip puree. Mm -hmm. And on the top, there's going to be a little surprise. There's going to be blue cheese, honey and crushed walnuts. Mm. And you have that in a little glass jar with a spoon. So it's got everything except for the dessert, actually. We've even mm. got the cheese course in there. we better get on with it. Let's start cooking. Right, let's do it. So today I'm going to be making um, some sage and onion stuffing sausage rolls. So these are vegetarian. The mixture is really simple. All it is is breadcrumbs. I didn't have onions, so I just made do and I used shallots, which is quite nice. And to that I added chopped sage, fresh sage, salt and pepper, and I put in some grated Parmesan cheese just to give it a bit of extra flavour and put some eggs in there and some chopped cranberries. It's perfect and it gives it that Christmassy feel. I've got some pre-made puff pastry here. So I'll just cut that into a little strip. I'm just gonna spoon some of this on. I mean, these are really simple. You can knock these up in about half an hour. I'm gonna make them quite big, but I'm gonna slice them quite thinly. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little surprise in each one. Now, what I'm gonna do is take some boiled quail's eggs and slice them in half. And I'm just gonna put them inside, evenly spaced all the way along. Now this is quite a French thing actually, to put eggs inside of um, a sausage roll. I mean, French do have their own equivalent. It's not exactly the same. Weirdly, they call it a spring roll, a pâté de printemps. Um, and we're doing our own sort of Christmas version of that. I mean, you don't have to use quail's eggs if you can't get them. You can just get some normal boiled eggs and chop them up and put those in as well. It won't be as pretty, but it will taste the same. So I'm just gonna now roll that up and I've got some egg yolk here, which I'm just going to brush along that side there. I'll roll this over on top of that one, get that to stick. And now I'm gonna pop that in the fridge for about 20 minutes, just so it firms up. And when it comes out, I'm going to slice those into evenly spaced pieces and they're gonna bake in the oven. And we'll see how they come out. charge of their little mini turkey Yorkshire puddings, which I'm really excited about. Making a little indentation in the Yorkshire pudding, but not going all the way through because you'll be wanting to put some gravy in there. Then a little bit of stuffing and a piece of turkey. I've made the gravy very thick so that it doesn't just roll off. I just add a little bit to moisten it and then onto that a dash of cranberry sauce and garnish with a dried cranberry. Okay, Michael, do you want to come try this? I'd love to try it. This is the roast turkey element of our, yes. of our mini roast dinner. Roast turkey, stuffing, cranberry juice, gravy, and a Yorkshire pudding. Oh. We're eating quite a lot these days. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> That's actually really good. I love these. Mm. They're gorgeous. They're quite naughty. Mmm. You only made two. Mm. I'll make mm. it more later. Mm. Mm -hmm. You better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so next on today's list is the parsnip and roast potato verines. What we have here is parsnips. We boiled those with a little bit of milk and some chopped apples. And what we have here is slow roasted potatoes. Now they're really easy to make. We just slice the potatoes really thinly and we added onions and stock with some duck fat. And we just slowly roasted those in the oven at low temperature for a few hours until they're nice and soft, almost mushy, like a mashed potato, but still with texture. Next we have some chopped walnuts, honey, and there's a bit of blue cheese there. So a verine basically is like a canapé that you serve in a small glass. I mean, you can use any shaped glass and it's really simple. All you do is take some of your potato mixture, just put that in the bottom to create like a little bed just to put your parsnip puree on. There we go, quite simple. So to that, we're gonna add some parsnip puree. Okay. So to that, we're gonna take some of our blue cheese. And it's a nice crumbly French blue cheese, but you can use any, a Stilton, Gorgonzola, Rockfall, anything like that. So we're gonna break it up, put some of those on the top. And on top of that, I'm just gonna add a small drizzle of honey. And the last thing will be a few chopped walnuts. And there you have it, a Christmas roast vegetable, parsnip and potato verine. Merry Christmas. I'm quite proud of us, actually. I'm very proud of those. A whole roast dinner in canapé form. Our guests are going to love those. I haven't tried your sausage rolls yet. Do you want to try one? Yes. Go and try one. I found a perfect little quail's egg. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> be wanting more of those? Mm hmm Well, there's plenty, so don't worry. <laughs> I want to sit in bed the rest of the afternoon eating nibbles. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm. With a movie. Should we go? Should we have a, have a movie afternoon? Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Let's get the tray. I'll put the kettle on. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You might make your canapes for more of a party situation, but honestly, they're perfect <laughs> for just movie time. <laughs>